now let's take a look at the function average and what can it do for us. This is a good example where you can use it. You have a weather forecast for all these different cities on the east coast, but in the different Xbox you want to put just one number forecast for the entire region. So place your cursor behind the temperature, go to the formulas panel to start editing a formula, and you can either type in average, like this, or you can simply click on the green F button, which means insert function dialog, choose average, and insert it. Place your cursor behind the two brackets after the average function, select the cell address selection tool, which is the button be below the uh, function button, and then just click in the cells you want to select. You can see that I clicked in this one, and the address appeared in the table. So we can just click into all these all these cells to get the average temperature for, all the, for these four cities. Now press enter to enter the formula into the text. You can see that we have the average number for all these temperatures, but we just want, want the whole number. We don't want the decimal places, so we can just edit the formula again get rid of the decimal places, or even better, select the user-defined format represented by the pound symbol. It's just one pound there, which means you just want one decimal, uh, just, just the whole number, no, no decimal places, and type space and F after that to get the result like this, to see the temperature direct, directly in Fahrenheit. So the formula for average, or the function for average is average bracket and the numbers you want to use, either just the numbers or the address of the cells where the numbers are. We can do the same for the wind speed. Now it's gonna be even easier. So again, choose the average function, choose the direct selected selection, choose the whole range where the data is. In this case, you can do that and enter. And again, we'll just get rid of the decimal places. Or we can do our custom format, which also shows the miles per hour like this. Now, let's say that the newspaper you design for is an international newspaper and you also need to use metric metric units. No worries, you don't have to remember how to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can just copy the formula for Fahrenheit. Just copy and paste, like this. Now start editing the formula by inserting another function. This one is called convert. So type in convert, opening bracket, now keep the original formula, the average, as your source number. Type in comma. Now in inverted commas, you type in F for Fahrenheit as your source unit, another comma. And C, big C for Celsius, again in inverted commas, and closing bracket. Press enter. Now you just change the format from Fahrenheit to Celsius in the formatting options. And now you can see that the temperature for 47 Fahrenheit is also eight degrees Celsius. Now, if any of these temperatures changes, you can see that the, th that the average changes also. Let's see, in Providence it's really freezing, so we'll put 12, 12 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see that both the Fahrenheit and the Celsius number changed. You can, of course, do the same for the wind speed. So, again, copy the formula. We'll just need a little more space here. You can see that this is the average and the mm, and this is averaging the wind speeds in miles per hour. So you can just type convert in front of the average, opening bracket, keep the original formula as your source number, comma, ME for miles as your source unit, and KM for kilometers as your destination unit. Now we'll change the format to from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. this and now you can see that the wind speed got converted too. Again we can change the wind speed let's say there will be a hurricane in Philadelphia and you can see that the average numbers also did change. So the convert function is used like this. Convert as the function first the number you want to convert or the result of uh, another formula you want to convert, then the from unit, remember it has to be in inverted commas, just like this, and the to unit, the unit you want to convert into. In the case of kilometers and miles, it then looks like this. 
want to convert, let's say 23 miles into kilometers.